Hey everyone! You may be wondering why we're sitting in my dining room today and I decided to switch it up a little bit because I'm going to need an anchor point for today's exercises. In my free community we've had a lot of requests for exercises that can be done on the floor that can be done at home. Some of my um, community members stand a lot for their job or they stand all day during their um, work day and they're pretty tired when they want to come home but they still want to exercise. So in light of it being Mother's Day weekend and most of my clients and community members are moms, I'm going to give you a floor workout that you can do with five exercises. Now all you're going to need is a resistance band. The other thing you're going to need is some kind of anchor point and this is my dining room table. You can totally use that. You can use um, a staircase. You can use, if you have some kind of other anchor point, like a bed post or something like that, that would be great. All these exercises can be done on the floor. So I'm tentatively calling this workout the Netflix and chill workout because you can totally do this while you're watching Netflix. The way that you can do this is there's gonna be five exercises. You got a hinge, you got two core exercises and a push arm exercise and a pull arm exercise. So, um, what you can do is you can do them for a minute each with the resistance band. So you can do a minute of one exercise, then move on to the next one. Um, and you can just repeat that five minute circuit over and over three or four times. And that's going to be about one episode of the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt or whatever your favorite Netflix TV show is right now. And obviously you can see which one mine is. Um, and then the other thing you could do is just work to fatigue, work to a point where you're tired and you don't feel like you can do any more repetitions and then you can stop and move on to the next exercise. So we're going to start with a new exercise that requires an anchor point. And this is going to, we may have a couple weird angles here. So bear with me. Um, what I want to do here is do one of my favorite core exercises, but we're going to do it on the floor. Okay. And it's called a pal off press. And you may have seen me do it standing, and I do it um, in the gym with a cable machine, but I saw this um, the other day, and I was like, yes, my favorite exercise, redone. So you're going to anchor it kind of high, right, um, about wherever you can extend from here, and then you are going to, I'm going to change my angle a bit, because you want to be like kind of directly perpendicular to wherever your anchor point is. Let's hopefully you guys can see me, right? I'm just going to wrap up on my resistance band. This is my favorite resistance band. And a great way to remember to do these exercises, I'm going to sit up for a second, is to um, leave your resistance band out. And if you leave it out in a weird place, like I leave mine wrapped around my staircase, I'm always like, oh, God, I got to do those exercises, right? So that's a great um, reminder that will help you trigger doing a little bit more movement in your life. And remember, more is always more with movement, so the more you can do, the better it is. So I'm gonna show you the first exercise. Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna be laying down on the floor. You can have your knees bent, okay? You can also extend your legs, and I'm gonna show you one harder version in just a second. So you're gonna be over here. I'm gonna to totally move this way. <laughs> you're gonna get all kinds of weird angles today. So I'm gonna wrap this around my hands and I'm going to put my hands together. They're going to be clasped hand over hand, right? All I'm going to do is press up full extension of my arms and come back down to my chest, right about sternum level or right at the bottom of my sternum, top of like where my rib cage, bottom of where my rib cage comes together. Okay. Now you may say you, what you should feel is you should feel um, your core firing up to avoid turning in to the anchor point, okay? If you don't feel it very much, you can make it harder by choking up more on your resistance band or moving farther away from your anchor point. One other slightly harder variation that you can do is you can bring your knees up to 90-90, all right? And then you don't have the benefit of using your legs to stabilize you and it's all core work. All right, so what I would do if I was gonna do a minute here, I would do 30 seconds on one side and then I would flip, right? And do 30 seconds here on the other side. I don't have the band in my hand right now, but okay. This is how you can have your feet to make it a little bit harder. If you wanna stabilize yourself a little bit more, feet are gonna go on the ground, okay? So that's just a band, pal off press, laying down on, the, laying down on your back, okay? 
We are going to do from this position, we're going to keep stay in this position. And I'm going to slide the camera a little bit so it doesn't look like my head's cut off the whole time. Um, we are going to do one footed bridges. So you may have done, if you've done yoga or anything like that, um, a two footed bridge where you have both feet on the ground. You're going to press those hips up into the air, right? This is a two footed bridge. And if you find that you can't do a one footed bridge, this two footed bridge is totally fine. Okay. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring one leg up, grab behind the knee or behind the, you know, right above the knee. And you're going to bridge up just on that one foot. Now you're range of motion is not going to be as great as it is with two feet. And that is because you're really only here focusing on your backside muscles and you're not getting any extension from your spine, which is fine because we don't, that's not the purpose of this exercise. The purpose of this exercise is to work your butt and the backs of your legs. Okay. So if you feel like, God, I'm going nowhere, that's fine. Again, because we're doing one leg at a time, you could do 30 seconds on one leg, switch legs, 30 seconds on the other. Okay. If you find you're kind of in between this two footed bridge and the one footed bridge, you can always put your feet up on a wall and do a bridge with your feet on the wall, which I can't show you right now because I'm not right next to a wall, but you can always put your feet up on coffee table, the wall and do your bridges that way as well kind of an in-between the two-footed bridge and the one-footed bridge, but you want to get to this point where you can do this, even if you're just lifting whatever your ability is strength-wise, okay? So you've got your band-resisted presses. You've got, right, the presses right here. One-footed bridge, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, or you can just work till failure, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do another core exercise. So my favorite core exercise, for those of you who ever follow along, you know, is the dead bug. And that is going to be, arms are going to be extended over here, right? Right up above your head. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to back up a little bit, as much as I can. I'm going to extend opposite arm and leg and bring them back to the middle and then alternate to the other side. Inhale as I extend my arm and leg. Exhales, I bring them back together. Now, if you find this too hard, that's fine. You can go ahead and grab onto your anchor point. So you would just switch around. I'm just changing anchor points. And you can just do the legs. All right. And I'm going to use this for an exercise in just a second. But you can just do the legs. Only lowering to a point where you can still keep that low back flat on the ground. All right. You're locking into a posterior pelvic tilt, keeping that back flat on the ground, all right? And lowering down just to a point where you can control and maintain it, okay? There's a hundred different dead bug exercises out there. You can do the one that makes you feel most comfortable, and um, you can check out some of my other videos. I do a couple different variations in some of my other videos as well. All right, so that's three exercises down. We're going to do two more. We're going to do a push and a pull, um, we're going to do two arm exercises basically, most importantly. So we already have our resistance band wrapped around our anchor point. So we're going to start with that exercise. And this is going to take a little bit of trial and error on your part. Okay. You probably want your anchor point a little bit lower than it was before. And you may not be able to see all of me on this one, but, um, you'll be able to see what my hands are doing. We're basically doing a pullover with a resistance band. So, what I want to do is get really, really close to the anchor point, but I want my hands to be able to extend fully behind me. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull using my armpit muscles, pull up straight to right over my chest. Let my arms slowly lower back. Exhale as I pull my armpit muscles up or I use my armpit muscles to pull my arms up. Woo. Lower back. If you need to choke up more, you can. I don't want to break this band, but you should feel your lats 
serratus, this part of your muscles engage. Um, if you can, you can get your anchor point even lower. Again, wrap up. And then that might make it easier on you. Okay. And that is just a simple variation of a dumbbell pullover. Inhale as you lower down, exhale as you come up. All right, so last exercise, you're gonna take this resistance band off of its anchor point. I'm gonna rock up, always rock up using your knee or roll to the side. The resistance band is gonna go around my back. All right, I'll try to make it as flat as possible. And I'm gonna roll back down to the ground. We're just gonna do a simple chest fly. So I may have to choke up on the band a bit to kind of get where I'm going. If you have one of those very thin bands, this may not be super, super comfortable. So just, you know, do it to your comfort level. Um, I'm gonna have my feet bent flat on the floor. And basically it's gonna be wrapped right around my upper back, okay? Right around, if ladies, bra strap area, kind of right around there. Just gonna open up in a chest fly, bring my arms back together. My arms are right over, they end up right over my chest. So it should be easier as you lower down, use those chest muscles to bring your arms back together right up over your chest. Inhaling as you open up, Exhale with the exertion. Two ways to make this harder. One would be bring your feet up, okay? Then you're engaging your core as you do it. Another way to do it, trick I just saw, you can do the bottom half of a dead bug while you're doing this exercise. And that actually makes it kind of hard, right? The key here is gonna be how much you choke up on the resistance band, not so much, um, not so much that the, uh, the exercise itself should be super hard. So those are five exercises that you can do um, with a resistance band and an anchor point. Thanks for hanging out in my dining room today. I hope that everybody has a great Mother's Day and I will, um, I will as well, and we'll talk to you soon.